So today is Monday. Happy Labor Day, y'all. Um, me and Bay are going to the movies to see Don't Breathe. Say hey. Say hey. <laughs> you try so hard not to smile when you with me, y'all. But you know, I, I make him the happiest boy in the world. Man, I'm sorry. Happiest man in the world. We're not young no more. But we're going to see Don't Breathe because I've been hearing that it is so good. And we were supposed to go last weekend, but um, with his brother's birthday and stuff, it was there's a lot going on. And my mom was in the town, so I really couldn't leave the girls. So yeah, we about to go there, and I don't know what we're doing after that. So we decided not to take the stairs outside because we were gonna take the escalators, and the escalators broke. <gasps> Everybody got top first. Look at that. Look at that. That's unnecessary. Y'all. Yeah. So because of me, we <laughs> late to the movies because of me. So um, oh shit, no, I'm not gonna do it. Let me have to open up my door again by myself. Ouch! <laughs> Stop looking so angry. Cause it made me miss the movie time. But I didn't even know he was going to the one at two o'clock. Okay, there was several ones. Okay, he didn't even tell me that we was going to the one at two o'clock. Anyways. I haven't gone to Buffalo Wild Wings. It's still a good day, cause I mean, that's food. Food and movies is all I like to do anyway. Hey y'all, today is Tuesday, it's 1.28. I'm on my way to school. I have pre-calculus and um, world literature. And then I get out at 4.45 today, so that's good. I woke up at like 11.44. Oh, I'm gonna go to radio. I woke up earlier to put Chloe, not Chloe, to put Peyton on the bus and then I went back to sleep. So so from like 6.30 to like 11.44, I was asleep. And then I woke up and I was like, I gotta get up. I can't be sleeping like this. I do have class at two, it's not the weekend. So um, I ended up getting dressed and ready and stuff. And now it's 1.27. I do have a, a pre-calculus uh, quiz, something, something um, about the unit circle. I did that stuff in high school. Like, I remember taking that my senior year because I took pre-calculus my senior year of high school and so I remember doing that and like I'm a visual learner like I have to somebody has to do it for me to learn how to do it on my own and so or I can like see a picture and then learn from the picture so I just decided to learn from the picture because we were supposed to print it out and write it down and stuff like that but I learned better from just looking at the um just looking at the picture myself and then doing it in my head so that's how I did that and then I had to read some book that I forgot the name of oh my god people cannot drive I swear they can't drive it's like why would you go in front of a car that you see is coming like do you want to die but um yeah I should have ate something I don't know why I always forget to eat in the morning like like it's okay it's not okay this week i don't know what's happening this week should go by pretty fast because y'all do know yesterday was labor day and we didn't have school and so i just have a class on wednesday and then i have my class on thursday and then i'm finished so i just have two more school days which isn't bad hey y'all so i am all finished with classes i'm sorry if you can't really see me it's super sunny out here um now i'm about to go get the car wash give me something to eat because those chips i had did not hold my stomach and then i gotta go get my sister from school because she goes to an after school program and yeah my parking spot is so far from where i actually have to go like now that i was thinking about it, um, me and some people in class were talking about the parking here and the different parking spots because i didn't even know they had a parking deck but uh yeah they were like oh you by the because i park all the way by the um is that the gym i want to say the gym i think that's what it's called something like that it's like the pool and the workout stuff but yeah i park all the way over there my class is like all the way on the other side of the building so i have a horrible parking spot and i don't think they're gonna have any available because when i went and get it the girl was like oh there's only this parking lot available so I think that's why I'm gonna have to park for the rest of the semester. Um, what happened today? Yeah, I took two L's today. Yeah, I took two L's today. 
because my professor asks us questions about the story that we read and I want to say I read it but I really didn't read it and um yeah I went to spark notes and the main stuff that you know you would think that they would ask he didn't ask like he asked stuff that's all the way outside of the box so with that I finished doing that finished checking that L and then I told you I had a unit circle quiz y'all like I hate how I get so overwhelmed when it's time for like I know the material but it's like I hate feeling like I have to rush to take something like she was counting down and stuff I'm like girl what are you doing let people work and they progress okay so yeah and now I'm about to like I said go get something to eat and go get this car washed so now that I'm dressed in in the car I look so unpleasant today I don't know what's going on with my hair um, recently I cut my hair um, what was that I cut my hair maybe like a week ago I should have been trimmed my hair not realizing when you're natural you need to do that like every three to six months yeah I haven't trimmed my hair since um, I've last flat ironed it in April so it's been a minute and my hair has outgrown a lot and um when i did flat iron my hair i did experience a little heat damage on the right side of my head so like where my um side part would be i had like a little heat damage and it was obvious when my hair dried like when it dried it was obvious that that part of my hair did not curl up so i still kept it or whatever and i just decided one day to well, last week i just decided last week to cut it because i am going to be doing a clippings review for this company and for that i do have to flat iron my hair uh, probably won't be anytime soon because i just um cut my hair and i need to let my hair breathe in this new state it is because actually my hair has changed again it's i i can tell it change everybody else can't tell my hair change but I can tell because when I put my hair in a ponytail like it was in yesterday, um, my curls were like so cute. Like they were so cute. Like, look at that. Look at that. Like my hair did not do that before. I was going to dye my hair. That's where I'm going with this conversation. I was going to dye my hair back to the original color it was. My hair is like a dark, darkish brown black color. And I dyed my hair, I think my senior year of high school second semester of my senior year of high school to this like this light brown color and um it never like went went away like it never faded away like some people hair grows out when it's like completely like done this only grew my roots back out and the rest of the color like stays so i think i like permanently like really really changed my hair color even though it was a permanent dye, y'all know like it's permanent, but it's like semi-permanent because it still fades away. But this color actually stuck with me. So when I'm in the sunlight, um, my hair looks like a reddish brown. I don't like that. So I was thinking about dyeing my hair back to its original color. But then again, it's just like, do I care that much or do I not care that much? So, you know... I probably just go I'm probably just gonna leave it like this to be honest because I'm not gonna be wearing my hair like this a lot anyways cuz I did tell y'all that I only really wear my hair natural like once or twice a month because this is too much it, it's really too much and I diffused my hair that's why I look like this y'all that is why this side looks a little nicer than this side but yeah my hair looks so dry on this side I don't think I diffuse my hair right because I never diffuse my hair I always let my hair air dry but it's been getting cold in the morning and 70 75 and below is uh cold to me so yeah I was cold this morning when I brought Chloe not Chloe when I brought I always say Chloe like she ride the bus <laughs> when I brought Peyton to the bus stop this morning it was cold and I wasn't feeling it so I just decided to hurry and diffuse my hair and yeah that was a bad idea I'm real life sad about my hair like it's not okay that I look like this I'm never diffusing my hair again ever 
gotta go to this damn community service place. <sighs> to be honest, I'm just gonna let y'all know right now, I hate commuting. I hate commuting to school because for one, I hate rushing. And I'm the type of person, if I'm gonna be late, I'm gonna take my time. So that's just not a good mix for me. It's like 1.56, class, class started at two. <sighs> Can a day just start over? Just let it start over. Me and my mom came in here for one thing. And we got a whole basket. Black people be like. <laughs> <laughs> my day has consisted of a lot of things. I'm now at my mom's office. I'm gonna show y'all just how pretty the view is here. It's so beautiful. You can see downtown Atlanta from here. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. I really can't tell if y'all can see or not because of the lights being on in here. But, um,. And maybe if I move in the dark. Yeah, no, that's not gonna help. I'm trying to see if I can see the view. Okay. Yep, that's downtown Atlanta. <laughs> right there. <laughs> oh, it's getting hotter and hotter. Like fall is supposed to be like in two weeks and it only feels like fall, like seven o'clock. It's hot. But um I'm waiting for my mom. Cause uh I have to go get my sister. Oh, yeah. I tried this new thing today with my makeup. I tried doing my makeup first, well, like my foundation and stuff first, and then I did my eyebrows. They kind of like it. Today's my last day wearing my hair natural. Cannot wait to put this long hair in my head because, mm -mm. Uh, what else I about to say? Um, I don't have class tomorrow, but I'm going to this um, rec center in the morning. Y'all, they hours are 6 a.m. to 3. I'm going there to um, see what they're talking about. Or I might, I don't know. I know that I'm, I gotta go somewhere in the morning because I gotta get this community service stuff done. Hey guys, I'm sorry if the lighting's a little off in here. I am getting unready for my day. I'm about to take my shower. I just finished taking another L in math. I hated pre-cal in high school. I hate pre-cal in college. I just don't like math at all and I really need to learn to love it because for my career I'm really gonna learn I'm really gonna have to learn to love it but um before I get um unready I do want to mention a product that I some products that I've been using periodically that has been helping my skin because lately my skin on this side has been breaking out like I don't even know why I really don't know why because this side of my face has always been clear and this has been my problem side, but now my this has like literally barely anything on the surface. So I'm just kind of like freaking out. But I do want to mention something that I have been using uh, periodically, like I said. Um, when I say that, I mean Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, or the following week, it'll be Tuesday and Thursday. That's how also I do my workouts um, once I start working out again yeah and that's how i do my workouts but the name of the company the name of the company is called clearly it looks like that uh, they sent me their skin products about two months ago and i have sensitive skin i had to come to realize that i do have sensitive skin um so i stopped using all the products that i were using that i was using and i jumped straight into using just their products and that like kind of really like messed with my skin and I was breaking out all up here I never break out up there I was breaking out in places that I just wasn't supposed to so I contacted the um guy who sent me the products with the company just to let him know you know is this supposed to happen and he just basically told me that uh some people's skin react differently to the product so if you are one of those people who has sensitive skin and you have like a specific skin regimen if you do purchase this product just be careful with that because it will be like a wake up call to your skin. So for me, what I had to do was ease my way into it, like I told you guys a little earlier. So Monday, I mean Tuesday, I did a um, mask and Thursday, which is today, I'm going to do my mask. This is my week to do Tuesday and Thursday. And then next week, it will be Monday, Wednesday and Friday card. And just these are the things that it came with in the box. It came with a mineral water mud mask or you can do it as a cleanser. I prefer using it as a 
mud mask because I feel like it just gives me a deeper clean, a deeper cleanse on my skin. It also comes with a mineral water toner, which I still use this. I use the mineral toner um almost every day. And then it also comes with a, uh, a mineral water moisturizer, which um smells really good actually. It actually smells really good and it's really hydrating. I do have oily skin. So this is something that I can only use at nighttime. For me, it uh, moisturized my face without over drying it. But I did try to wear it um, in the morning one time. It gave my skin too much oil. So I just decided not to do it in the morning, just at nighttime. The mud mask uh, slash cleanser um, is designed to dry out all the unwanted oils of the skin while exfoli exfoliating the dead skin. This is the reason why I started using it monday wednesday and friday because for a while i was just using it tuesday and thursday but my skin started to feel like so soft yeah y'all it really does make your skin feel really soft um and doesn't have a bad smell or anything um some of the um uh some of the uh ingredients are rosemary lavender lemon and can i pronounce that g word but that's okay <laughs> and it makes it great for acne prone skin while adding amazing fragrance and it does reduce redness and kills unwanted bacteria as well as for the toner the toner is uh mixed with green tea lemon lavender and a g word that i cannot pronounce it's also good for infectious prone skin so a lot of these products are good if you have acne prone skin or if you have sensitive skin but because if you have sensitive skin it can backfire on you so it's like a love hate type of thing it might be one of those products that i never experienced one of those products that it makes your skin bad before it makes your skin good. I've never experienced one of any of those products until I started doing this. And then after time, when you start, when I started gradually using it, that's when I really started to notice, oh, it makes a difference. I do this mask stuff, by the way, after I've done my regular skincare regimen. So this isn't just something that I just do by itself. I put this on top of whatever I've um, already done before. So basically, I wash my face with black soap. I start. I was using Cinefil, but then I remember how black soap cleared my dark spots. So I started using that again, and that really helps me. And then for toner, so the days that I don't use the mud mask, I use um, witch hazel. I think it's the TN, TN something, Dickinson um, witch hazel. I got it from Walmart. It was like three or five dollars something like that it came in a yellow bottle and then moisturize my face i'll either use coconut oil or i'll use aloe vera gel and that's what i basically do for my skin regimen and I showed you guys how I wash my face with my black soap um, you keep the mask on for about five to ten minutes in that time I usually would um, take my hair down from however it was my hair was in a bun today so that's all I really had to do or if I was or if I would be wearing my wigs then I would just moisturize my hair with castor oil and some coconut oil hey you guys today is Friday I don't have class today I just left um, the community service place that I went to and y'all I was so tired like I was supposed to be there at 3 I was supposed to be um gone at 3 it's 12 26 I could not do it like I got there at 7 30 and I was just so tired like I was so sleepy I felt like I was standing up sleep like standing up sleep yeah wow I think I'm at sleep standing up <laughs> 
but yeah um it just wasn't for me today today just wasn't my day i just wanted to go to sleep but i had stuff to do and so now um i think i'm about to go with my mom to get her car serviced and then my sister has an eye appointment yeah, she has an eye appointment at four i'm probably i'm probably gonna go to the movies with my boyfriend because y'all know that <laughs> we were supposed to go see don't breathe i think monday yeah i was with him monday we were supposed to go see don't breathe monday but he didn't tell me that we was going to the one by my house he just said be ready between certain times and stuff like that so when we actually hold on hey I, I hate when people be blocking like if you go into the left why are you blocking the right like people really not drive but um yeah so we're gonna probably go to the movies today i forgot to mention but if you are one of my subscribers that goes to morehouse bowman or clark atlanta Derek does have a t-shirt um line that he's coming out with this says spark house what is that on the side of my lip <laughs> this says spark house which is spellman clark and then morehouse because he goes to morehouse and on the side of the shirt let's see i'm trying to show y'all this in a car <laughs> on the side of the shirt it says pack life well it says pack and then it says pack, but pack means pray and continue trying. When I first heard it, I heard it like I think the beginning of the year. Yeah, when me and him first got back in touch with each other, and then I thought it was so cute. Like I was like, oh, that's that's really nice that you made a um, logo like that. So it means um, pray and continue trying. So if you are interested in purchasing one of these shirts, I will put the um, links to where you can buy it online in my description box, and you can go check that out for him got my sisters from school y'all and my sister goes to the high school that I graduated from and to be honest I did not like high school like I wish I could redo it and pick better friends date different people like I wish I could do so many things different in high school like I wish I could have a, a redo and um so if you're a high school subscriber cherish your high school moments go to things be involved or are you gonna be like me and just hate going there and just hate it so yeah i didn't start doing things and like hanging out with like different people until my senior year second semester like when it was basically over like it didn't even really matter because everybody was about to leave for college anyways Hey y'all, so I just left the mall with my mom and my sisters. Um, my mom had to return a lip gloss from MAC and then we went eat at the food court at this Chinese place. I did do my hair last night. I'm trying to get the feel of it because it is black and I usually don't, <laughs> I usually don't wear black hair because it's just, I don't know. I've, I'm always used to like a dark brown but never like black, so. Either I'm going to keep it like this or I'm going to dye it. I haven't decided yet. And it's so windy. Oh my God. Turn around your car. Wow. They could do that. My like highlight iPhone, right here. Like, they like, do with the software? Yeah. This is the only part of my face that the I highlight. The other day I asked him about how much I the just oil looks like yeah. I said. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are embarrassing. Oh, you guys are embarrassing. My look at Chloe. I said, um. You got to look at Chloe. <laughs> I said, um. How much it be Back at it again at Walmart. He said, what's the man number? I said, it's just for the back where he said, no, your, your brakes on the tennis. God, it's hot. It's for your brakes. It's your so home. hot outside. So the man number. I don't know, yeah, I'm really starting to feel my hair. Like, I think I like it. It's so windy outside. Come in.